accompanying his test pilots on their way to work has recently become a particular pleasure for Andrea Strohmeyer. Grob Aerospace began building aircraft in Matzis, Bavaria, almost 40 years ago, but this is their first passenger jet. What are you planning on, half an hour? 20 minutes, and then we'll circle at a thousand feet. It might not be immediately apparent, but this plane is made not of metal, but of carbon fiber composite, which makes it rather special. For pilots, it's the performance that matters. A short landing distance, short takeoff, climbs very steeply and flies fast and high. The Grob business jet is currently restricted to demonstration flights. Cameras are not allowed on board while the plane is in the air. We demonstrate the kinds of maneuvers that are required of a business jet. Tight turns, steep ascents, for example, to show what a powerful plane it is. It can do everything extremely well. And then some as well. Word of the new Grob jet's performance has gotten around. It needs less than a thousand meters of runway to take off and can even land on grass, unprecedented for a jet. We're given a tour of the factory. The firm has received 100 advance orders at a price of around 6 million euros per aircraft. Grob Aerospace has benefited from the hype about carbon fiber composite in connection with Boeing's Dreamliner. Here you can see this carbon fiber structure really well. We have a 100% carbon fiber front spar. The unique feature for us is that the carbon fiber is stuck to the wing membrane, so it's a rivet-free structure. The fuselage of a comparable metal aircraft comprises around 10,000 parts. Here, the figure is just 150. In addition, the jet's interior is more spacious than that of its rivals. Radically new methods appear to be the key. Here we have a new mold. It's a single piece from the tip of the nose down to the end of the vertical tail fin. It's an all-in-one process. This is where the carbon fiber is added, and then this so-called honeycomb core. These are really thin honeycombs that give the fuselage extra stiffness. Making an aircraft appears remarkably easy. We have two essential tools, the paint roller and a pair of scissors. Where are the scissors? There they are. Carbon fiber is more commonly referred to simply as composite material. Once in a mold, it is air sealed and cured. It might sound unspectacular, but the oven is rather large. The results are certainly impressive. So, here have we these windows that we saw in the production. You saw these window frames before in production. This is the hardened carbon fiber. It's robust, stiff. You can't bend it. This profile that we have, is this. This we don't get bent. Yeah, not to the second. Grob Aerospace's core business traditionally comprised light training aircraft for the military. Carbon composite, says Andrea Strohmeyer, soon proved the material of choice for special aircraft like this. 37 years of experience with the material gave the firm the confidence to develop the far larger business jet. 2006 might have spelled the end. A test pilot died when his prototype crashed. A crash during testing is a tragedy for any company, but especially for a medium-sized enterprise like ours. There's not only purely technical issues of the causes, there's also the human tragedy. Everyone knows each other here, so it's not easy. Somit ist es nicht leicht. 
Technical problems, we're told, are a thing of the past. Customer confidence has returned. And despite ongoing official investigations, carbon fiber composite appears to be a high flyer, at least at Bavaria-based Grob Aerospace.